My name is Maria Kamburi and I'm Associate Professor at the Department of Psychology and Human Development at um, UCL Institute of Education. So I suppose what we're saying here is that um, university students or in generally, you know, being in universities is a kind of a high pressured environment and, you know, the mental health of students has been studied and has been um, at, at the forefront of our concern research-wise and of course now also um, taking measures to, to, to do something about it. I want to congratulate Jana, Dora, Vasilis and the entire team behind the study. Uh, it is really a, a lot of fascinating information and data that you've managed to collect at a time when it's not been very easy to collect data. So once again, congratulations and thank you for doing this study. Just to give you an overview of the team. So we are the UCL Better Together team. Uh, um, and we joined the bigger COVID-19 uh, global study on social trust and mental health. Um, and the rationale behind that was that um, there is a lot of uh, discussion around uh, doctor students' mental health and let's start by defining mental health. Uh, so when people think of mental health, they think of mental ill health and non -mental, mental health as a state of well-being. So the World Health Organization defines mental health as a state of well-being in which an individual realizes his or her abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. When we looked at undergraduate and doctoral students, they seem to be um, suffering the most um, from mental health difficulties. And um, as we just looked at the um, qualitative data, um, you know, redesigning um, surveys and research designs and uh, social distancing um, restrictions have made it really difficult for a lot of students and then also lack of support and maybe the peer support system that students would have normally had. Earlier in the day today I took a quick look at the team behind the Oxford AstraZeneca virus uh, vaccine and um, there are so, so many doctoral students and research assistants there that it's quite clear that without the contribution of these people we would not have this vaccine today that is helping people across countries. Um, and one can only think that if most of these students were very stressed, then how they would have been able to perform and um, deliver such an important piece of work. I know that um, you know the NQTs that you know come and train at, at the Institute of Education. They have these um, smaller groups, as, as I mentioned, them. they could even be you know, as, as small as the WhatsApp, but, but also with their tutors and they're broken down into smaller groups um, and they meet, well, they e-meet now <laughs> or um, some of them have been able to start meeting as well um, just to be able to have that contact throughout the, uh, the training because it's, it's hugely important to, uh, to keep in touch, to actually keep on the social, social contact, even if it's uh, online.